YouTube, how's it going? Thought today I would show you a new video on the 29 gallon metal frame aquarium. Um, I guess there's a few things I want to talk about the box fish specifically that's newly added to the aquarium and just different kind of things on the fish inside of the tank as well. Um, two reasons why you haven't had a lot of videos recently within the past month which someone brought up and asked me about through a personal message and um, one of them specifically being I have not had a whole lot of new inhabitants to the fish house, I guess you should say, because it's all scattered throughout the house. Um, there hasn't been a lot of new things that are new. A few things here and there, miscellaneous, but it's just not a lot that's going to be too exciting, I guess, for you guys. So um, I'll try to cover the different things, but this is my first start at it. And number two, which someone called me out on, and I was waiting for it, um, is now I'm single. Uh, for those of you who follow along my videos, you understand the story. For those of you who don't, I had a two year long relationship that um, was different. It was um, amazing, but sad, great, but depressing. There was a lot of things in it that were um, uh, scandalous, I guess. And um, it, it was an awful realization that I had, and it ended very sad and abruptly. and. Um, it just it didn't work out so two years later it ended that was in November December I went all off the rails and did whatever the heck I wanted to do being a rebel and everything and uh, met a girl about a month and a half afterwards uh, we clicked kind of got along she liked mantis shrimp that's a big thing for a fish guy like me she likes mantis shrimp um, so we talked back and forth we decided to get into a relationship a little bit more serious and two months later it just didn't work out um, sweet girl nothing against her with that it's just we kind of clashed on a few different things and that's just how it is in life sometimes you meet someone and you guys really get along and then you realize you know what just not what you're looking for maybe you'd rather have a friendship with that person instead sometimes and uh, yeah so that's where I am right now in my life um, I'm single again and I'm just living the life with my buddies just like uh, they've always been there for me so yeah with that said We'll get over the whole personal life and let you guys take a look at the fish tank. Just thought I'd let you get it to uh, be a little bit more up to date on that as far as my personal life goes. So, um, all right, let's take a look at the fish tank. All right, so here's the 29 gallon metal frame aquarium. I say metal frame aquarium because the frame is metal. Um, the bottom is a slate bottom or slate rock. Um, it's an old, old tank. It's been around for an extremely long while. I resealed it and got it all filled up. So it's been like this for now for couple of months I believe so um, with that said the inhabitants are going to be a bicolor goldfish which is fairly new to the market very cool fish he's gonna be a sand sifter really good sand sifter you guys are looking for something for a larger setup um, they get about eight inches at least the bicolor does I believe um, so he's really cool I'm feeding him mysis and brine shrimp to kind of supplement the diet seems how uh, not a whole lot of nutrients in the sand for him the little white specks you're seeing floating around the tank are gonna be um, air bubbles caused by the canister filter which is in my ZooMed review video um, it's just kicking up air because of how close it is to the top of the aquarium usually you want to have a canister filter a little bit more below the bottom of the aquarium but uh, it works out for right now so a little bit of air every now and again no big deal um, next is going to be a cleaner shrimp he's been around for a while so he's a pretty good size um, in there also is going to be one of the blue spotted sleeper gobies uh, and also in there is a large pistol shrimp which I'll never see um, he's a common pistol shrimp or a blue blue pistol shrimp and a tiger watchman goby female is in there as well so um, now the one that I've been avoiding <laughs> is floating around right in the middle um, this is the Indian turret fish I believe um, excuse me if I'm wrong on it just because I didn't look up the name quick before I uh, made the video and it's something I don't remember very often um, he popped in at work he was supposed to be a thornback cowfish or boxfish and he came in as this guy so um, a little bit more of a different style, but very cool nonetheless, and I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to bring him home. So, uh, he's eating mice, this brine shrimp, he's been here now for about three weeks, and he's doing very well. Um, a lot of people stay away from boxfish or cowfish in general, just because what they're told is that the myth is, uh, if they're upset or stressed, they will explode and kill everything in your aquarium. No, yeah, it's a toxic fish. If you munch on this fish, you are so screwed. Uh, if it's a fish that munches on this fish, it is more than likely screwed. But that's the same thing for a Valentini pufferfish or any kind of pufferfish in general. Um, it's the same idea. If you munch on the fish, you're going to get a toxin in your mouth that uh, is just not going to be too good for you. So 
It's just their own little self-defense. Now, if this fish was caught in a power head and got absolutely shredded to bits and thrown across your aquarium, you're gonna have an aqu <laughs> a big problem, I guess, but um, usually that's not the case for a lot of fish. Uh, the fish just dies and kicks the bucket. Usually it's a quick little pickup. Um, obviously, you never want to have any kind of a fish sit in an aquarium after it passes just because the ammonia levels will build up on you. Um, so it's not a good idea to have in general, but if the opportunity does come where a fish happens to eat that fish, it might be problematic for that uh, little exploring carnivore there. So uh, if it dies, you're going to have a problem. Make sure you get them out of the aquarium as fast as you can just because you don't want anything ripping them up. Um, that goes with filtration or powerheads or anything like that. But other than that, a lot of fish seem to avoid them. Um, I've never really seen any kind of a fish really target a cowfish. Um, I've got a Koran angelfish that's pretty ballsy downstairs. It's the one that I uh, recovered after his weird kind of fungal outbreak from a different pet shop, and he's doing really well, but he likes to pick on the large cowfish in there, but just picks at his tail. So um, it's just one of those fish that a lot of fish kind of look at, and they go, you know what, I don't really want to mess with that. So very cool, oddball little fish. They're not supposed to be invertebrate safe, but he seems to be doing fine with the cleaner shrimp in there, but I'm assuming it's just because of its large size. Um, I know the cowfish downstairs likes to uh, try to pick up the hermit crabs and eat them, but never has any luck with that because of how um, their jaws aren't exactly the strongest. So if it was like a dog face puffer, oh goodness, I could imagine those hermit crabs would be screwed, but uh, this guy, I don't think he'd cause too many issues with their small mouth, so. But yeah, that's the update on the uh, 29 gallon malafrade tank with the Zoomed canister filter on the back. Um, just a cool little oddball kind of box fish. I highly recommend them if you're going to have something kind of di out or yeah, different out nori for your aquarium. Um, sometimes they leave corals alone, sometimes they don't. It's a 50 50 shot. Um, I've seen them kept in reef tanks, I've seen them kept in beautiful reef tanks, and they do really well, but uh, some of them like to explore. I know for sure if you have feather dusters in your aquarium, you're screwed because they will eat your feather dusters without a doubt. It's just one of the things that they seem to love to munch on. So. Um, with that said, I think that's about all I can cover. He likes to sit towards the back of the aquarium a lot, so I wish I had him up front, but maybe next time I'll get a feeding video on him or something. Freaking adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll keep you up to date as far as any new inhabitants come along, I guess. We'll have a shipment of fish coming in tomorrow at work over at Petco, um, so maybe we'll have something brought back from that. I got a place to order myself, and I'm looking forward to a few fish arriving, so... Um, but with that said, I'll keep you guys up to date and uh, I'll talk to you all next time.